and it's been a hot year for tech companies going public in 2019. Same theme as last year. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about Beyond Meat. That's yeah. obviously one of them. But it is clearly the year of the IPO. Maybe not so much for an Uber or Lyft. Those companies kind of underperforming when we look at how their uh, debuts have gone. But you've also got Chewy, Zoom, some other tech companies out there. And Freddie, I know your company, uh, Okta, went public back in 2017, as you mentioned. But your podcast, Zero to IPO, explains what it actually takes to build a company from the ground up. You were talking to us in the break about how your your first check came from Andreessen Horowitz right. when they were just starting out. That's right. So, I mean, what is it that you're trying to tell entrepreneurs who have kind of gone the same way with this podcast? Yeah, so it turns out that uh, building a company is a lot harder than it seems on television. <laughs> uh, you know, on television, it's this up and to the right story. Everyone gets to go on the jets and party at all the different places. Sure. Uh, in the early years, it's very hard. No one will return your calls. No one will come and leave Google or Facebook to come join your company. Um, it's very hard to get customers to buy your product when you're starting out. And so, um, you know, I've, we've been fortunate at Okta, things have gone well over the last decade. We were helped by entrepreneurs ahead of us. And so we've been trying to give back to the entrepreneurs that are up and coming right behind us. Are there any big, what are the big names that helped you out when you were getting started? Oh, there are all sorts of them. Uh, from, you know, Anil Bushri from Workday, who is on our board for a long time. Ben Horowitz, Andreessen Horowitz, yeah. who, who built public companies. I mean, these are folks who really had seen the show and were nice enough to help us. Obviously, they're investors, so they had shareholder returns to watch after. Yeah. Uh, but they were very, very, we would not be where we are today without them, right? Without a doubt. But if you think about uh, building a startup company out there, it's pretty lonely. It's a pretty lonely place. You go to these startup mixers, everyone's crushing it all the time except <laughs> you. Uh, you go home and you're like, I can't hire anyone, I can't get customers, how's this gonna work? So we decided to put together the Zero to IPO podcast, which is basically um, going out there and getting some of these successful entrepreneurs to tell some of the stories of how you, you, know, you, how, how you make the company, and in particular, some of the tough times, so that they can identify with those. So we had you know, Ben Horowitz and Neil Bushri, Patty McCord, who built the Culture Deck and Netflix, Julia Hartz, who built Eventbrite. Talk about what it was like when you're trying to hire the first person, trying mm -hmm. to raise that first yeah. financing. Um, and you know, Hopefully, it's, it's inspirational, and it lets all the other entrepreneurs out there know that it's actually tough times for, for everyone. Um, and so hopefully, it gives them a little bit of you know, energy. So there are successful startups that become companies like Okta that go public. Mm -hmm. But what about the, the failures? Do yeah. you have any of those people come on to talk as well? We do. Um, so, so <laughs> let's talk about those too. Yeah, talk about those. We do. Well, I mean, you know, frankly, you know, Okta is a success story today. We're very fortunate, but I failed at a number of businesses beforehand. I tried to start a tennis racket restringing business in high school that went bankrupt. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's happened to all of us, but we do have some um, more well-known failures that mm. come on the podcast as well and talk about. At one point, they were doing very well, and then something happened, or they didn't catch a turn in the market, or how you pay attention for those kinds of things. Yeah. So we definitely talk about those stories. A lot. Of, it's, it's surprising. The more you talk about this, the more you realize luck is certainly a factor here. But so far uh, this year, just looking at it, Okta up more than 115 percent stock uh, through the year. So. That's something to be happy about. But also the podcast sounds like a very good listen. I will add it to my list as well, my friend. I haven't done it beforehand, <laughs> but now podcasts. I will. I do love podcasts. <laughs> Heidi knows I love them. 